Ciao beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, hope you had a fabulous weekend. It's very dark here in Sheffield. I know it looks like there is a lot of sun coming through, but it is, it's, it's quite, the sky is great. I think it's gonna pull it down. Right, today we are going to be making a pop up and fold card. So this on Pinterest, and I've done a video, I think last year or two years ago, exactly the same mechanism exactly the same constructions but this time i show you one on my new paper release so keep watching guys and i will see you very soon okay guys before i take you upstairs with me a lovely catherine left you a message on youtube uh, asking what this is so this is on my uh, mantelpiece uh, it's a very long thin tapestry it's woven it's a woven tapestry see if i can zoom in you will see and it's not cross stitch uh, as she suggested and it's basically a medieval um inspired tapestry so you've got a little tassel in there I just realised, now that I'm zooming in, I marked the wall. I think when I put my Christmas garlands, and I think Jamie's going to kill me, you don't really see them in flesh. You only see them if I zoom in, but um, we're going to decorate the house anyway, so we're going to do a fresh paint when it's close to summertime. We can leave the windows open. But yeah, so that is this tapestry, Catherine. It's... Um, it came from an antique store. Um, it was quite expensive, and we got it a couple of years ago. But um, you find them online as well in um, in some antique uh, fabric shops. Uh, but yes, that's that what it is. Okay, guys, welcome back to the desk. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Ready to ready to um, craft today. Super excited. I think it's going to pour it down like... It's going to rain for like 10 hours because the sky is absolutely grey. And I was like, Ooh, please don't rain, but it's definitely going to rain. So today we're going to make a pop up and fold card. I have used uh, one of my newer kits. It's called Bright Bokeh. And I love this card because it's a love interactive card. You can go extremely mad when you decorate because you can, on each of these panels, you can do, you can put some flowers, you can put some 3D forms. This is just like a base card, uh, but you can decorate forever that you want. This will be super fabulous Mother's Day card as well, or just birthdays or thank you, or just because, or it's simply hello card. Just to say, to send your thoughts to a friend rather than send a text message or emails. You just send a little card that she or he can open it and display it like that. I think it's very, very, very effective. So again, you can put 3D elements and everything. This is what we made today. So I made it a white template because if I start messing about with colours, you won't be able to see anything on camera. Okay. So I will put the three measurements because you only need three panels in the info box. I'm not going to do a template, guys, because it's very, very, very straightforward. So again, look at the folds and look at where to put things together. And I will put the measurement here in the info box. Now, before I show you how to make it, let me show you the kit. OK, this kit is called Bright Bouquet. I'll let you guess why. I'm hoping that the colours showcase on camera like as it should do because they are extremely bright. And I'm not, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of very bright colours, but this kit is probably now becoming one of my favourite. So it has uh, two colours as a main colour palette. It's pink and baby blue. It's like this, it's not teal, but it's not turquoise. It's in between. And I'm hoping that the camera do them justice. So you've got a couple of backgrounds. I hope you can see this wooden palette to fit. And you've got these really bright, very bright flowers. You can either fussy cut them if you wish to. Okay, I love these. This is my centerpiece, as I will describe it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Look at this. And what I did, 
I did a layering of roses, peony, flowers, leaves, wooden effect, texture, dots. So it's very intricate. It's quite, um, yeah, it's a lot of details in this. Uh, wouldn't be in my kit without some tags. So you can make your own tags. And what I did here, guys, I put the pictures into four card space so they can be used as a card base or also as vintage cards you can either fold it in a half and make mini notebooks you can use this as you please then it's a it's a very full kit so you've got everything you've got some envelopes so this is a the scallop envelope and then this one here you just need to fold that and you get the envelope and we've got a page full of embellishments so you've got some balloons some tabs some flowers some big balloons so if you do like a celebration card that's quite cool and last but not least you get two huge tags now with this guys what you can do if you wanted to it's just an option you can fold this like that and have two more envelopes and then you get three huge nice bright butterflies Okay, guys, right, let me show you how to make it. I apologise in advance for the noises on the background, but one of my neighbours is having um, a loft conversion, so there is a lot, a lot of noises. I really, really apologise. Um, this seems, to, funny enough, this seems to go for a break when I'm not filming, and as soon as I press play, uh, record, noises happen, so apologies in advance. I will try to put a bit of a loud at music in the background so hopefully it will help right so to make this card you just need three pieces of uh, cardstock so let's start with uh this one shall we yeah so the first one uh piece of cardstock measure eight by three okay and then what you do you uh, score it at two and a half oops and five and a half okay so on the long side it's got a two and a half and five and a half then you need another one that is 10 inches by three inches so 10 by three and on the long side the one on the 10 inches you score it at two and a half five and seven and a half okay the last piece well, we don't really have to um, to use a scoring board, to be fair. Measure 11 and a half by 4, which is almost, almost the same size as an A4. So what you do, you just simply fold it in a half. And this, uh, this is our card base. Okay. So we're going to remove these. So let me just vanish this for a minute. Okay, so let's start with this one here. So the one that measure 8 by 3. So, we scored it two and a half and five and a half. Now, from the, the first score line to the second score line, we're just going to um, fold, uh, score, sorry, a diagonal line. Am I in shot? Yeah. And then we're doing exactly the same on this side. So, you get basically a square that is three by three. Okay, don't worry too much about these two score lines, but what we need to do now, we just need to fold these two triangles that we've just done. One and two. So excited today, guys, because it's Jamie's first day has, um, has his newest job. So unfortunately, the brand that Jamie used to work for has shut down in Meadowhall. So he's now found a, another job. Um, so his first day is today. So good luck, my handsome husband. I hope you're going to have a fabulous day. Uh, he was really nervous this morning. So uh, we got we got up and had breakfast together. And, um, and then he's, I just waved him off. Uh, and I'm at home today. It's a crafting day for me. I was off on Saturday and I worked yesterday because one of my colleague has asked me to swap the shift so i should have been off last uh, yesterday so the one that measure uh 10 by three so we've got a two and a half five 
and seven and a half. So you get basically four rectangulars that measure two and a half by three. And those rectangles here are your panels. Okay, so that's your panels. This one here is the inside mechanism. So it's that triangle there. Okay, sorry, I had to pause the video because it, they were extremely loud. I couldn't even hear myself. So what you do, guys, you fold it in a half. Okay, so this score line is on top. And then what you do, you move, your, you pinch it. And then you fold it properly on this way. So, and now let me show you. I've got glue everywhere. Okay, so you get a little pocket there. Let me show you again. So this is what we've just done. Okay, so you just simply fold it in a half. So the score line is on top, so you can feel it with the back of your finger. Then you pinch it and then you fold it on the opposite side. So you've got a little pocket and you've got these two triangles here. If you really, really wanted to, you can cover these with paper. So your panels there, they will be covered. I'm not too bothered because you're not really gonna see unless you look at the card this way, okay? So it's completely up to you, but I don't think it's necessary. So, but hey ho, do what you pleased. So get your card base. This one measure four by 11, well, four by 11 and a half. So that is four by what, five and what? And three quarter. So open it up and then we position the triangle in exact center of the card. So I'm going to measure two inches. Just put a little mark in there. And then what am I gonna do guys? I'm going to put the glue just, just on the triangle here. Not on this panel, just on the triangle. Okay, so. And you position your triangle so the tip of the triangle goes in that measurement there that we just found and then we put the glue on top of the of this triangle as well and then just fold it over and you just need to be very patient and hold it tight okay so when you open the card your panels your flags out on each side okay so you need to glue it so the mechanism is works in mechanism it works like that so what i suggest you do you open it up and then you fold it in a half again just to reinforce that fold okay so what we're going to do now guys you've got so that's the that's the panels the four panels so you've got to position the center of the panel into the center of the card so again if you think that that is a four it's basically this score line there so that's that you positioning this line here so the one where the panels fold it in a half with this line there so you align the two score line it's really important guys because if you don't center it it's not going to work so this line here is going to be in the middle of that okay so keep maneuver until you're happy that is is where it should be lift start with the rectangle on your right hand side lift it up we're just going to put the glue on here so i'm just going to put the glue on this little square the top right square Okay, now on the, I'm gonna keep it there. On the rectangle on your left, lift it up again, and we're gonna put the glue on the bottom square. So this square here. Okay, so just gonna put a glue. In there, and just hold 
fold it tight and then as they glue down fold the card gently back down it automatically it will fold so in the, for the very first time just help the card just pinch it the, the two rectangles so the one on your left and the one on your right pinch it together and that will naturally fold because that is the mechanism so as i was telling you before so if i show you there so you will see this paneling so this one there you will see them and you will see the one on the back so you can add paper but i don't really think it's necessary so that is the base literally that is the template okay guys i hope you liked this video if you did usual thumbs up it really helps and support my uh, adventure here on youtube because you are basically telling youtube that you like me you like my content so you like my video it really helps and then if you're new here please subscribe it's totally free three th three videos a week a little treat on friday so you're not going to regret it right um i'll pull you somewhere on the screen <laughs> a video link of the same structure that i done a couple of years ago so you just need to click on the video and you see exactly the same um fee, uh, the, the same video is slightly different the measurement is slightly different it just to give it a different ideas okay guys thank you so much for watching and until wednesday stay safe and well Mwah.